we jump right back into hardcore season two episode two of minecraft with getting the whatever floats your goat achievement and i just wanted to shout out real quick i'm exploring the map in this episode to begin with but if the sped up version of everything is not your speed i will be um, live streaming every Monday so you can get the real time unedited version of everything that I'm doing because I'm going to continue to speed it up for um, episodes. But you see, I find this unfinished portal, which is finishable, and I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. I even put back the golden apple that I found, I realize now. Um, but I grab cords of this place. See, I put back the apple and the boat, which I end up making another one in a minute. But I grab cords of that place, cords of this place, cords of this place, just grabbing cords of places that I would love to come back to eventually, um, with just with really cool natural generation. And then I found, I don't know what these are, like the drowned temples. And I have to come back to grab that buried treasure map because I didn't. Um, and I'm getting tridents thrown at me here. <laughs> um, and I end up fighting two of the guys, but they don't drop anything. But in the second one, I do end up taking this buried treasure map. So I need to go back and grab that first one again um, at a different point. But I see this is too far away, so I'm not planning to go to this one. Um, and then again, the trident guy. And I get the not today, thank you advancement. Um, and then here's the second one that I ended up killing. No trident again. And then I hit up the moss while exploring, and I think I almost get two stacks of the things, the green things, and I find a witch's hut here, but the lily pads, um, and I grab cords of this place, but I grab the lily pads to kind of decorate around my pond, which you'll see later, but I'm just exploring the map as you see, but yes, I did find that witch's hut, so I almost killed her, but then I thought I can make a witch farm at some point. I don't know. We'll see. I find this ends up being the smallest desert I've ever found. Um, yeah, I end up finding a desert village. I grab cords of that because I think that place looks really cool too, but I do end up finding a desert village um, down a little bit over there. Yeah, here we go. Um, and I can't remember. I don't think there's anything good in here. Um, but I think I just mark this off, take the cords, and I haven't really come back here, but there's like this ravine. Why do ravines always divide um, in these villages? That's like a common reoccurrent theme that I see happening. I should have checked for a bell and should have tried to ring one just to see if, you know, the green particles, which I still haven't verified that or not, um, but just food in the chest and then these two floating island things that I end up grabbing the cords for, I believe, and then I take a pause to take a nap here, and then we're off in the ocean. I keep looking for sunken ships, but then I come across this one right here. Um, and of course, you know me, grabbing the cords for this place, because heck yes, I'm going to come back and build something here that would be so cool. And I take a little selfie with it, per se. <laughs> but I definitely want to make a full-on build, so I start digging it out. Um, and you'll see me here in this moment only get two of the chests, because I guess for some reason I forgot for a bit here that... These bigger ones, the full ships will have three chests, but don't worry, I leave and then I come back and I go through it. I was hoping for moss. You see, I have a full inventory, um, but I was hoping for moss and was not successful with this. And I haven't seen any more, um, so hopefully in the future that's something that I could find because I would love to incorporate that within my builds within the flower forest that I have. That you guys kind of saw in episode one and you'll see again here in a bit but i tried to kind of drain out this area to be able to dig down and checking the chest down in this area in a second 
I didn't realize those places with the upside down stairs counted as water sources, so that's what you saw me um, breaking those down for. Um, but nothing of value, really, in this chest either. I do grab this buried treasure map in here, and this one is, like, right up this stream, I guess. Don't worry, I come back for the third treasure chest. You'll see that. But you will see me kind of going to find that treasure here and the trick of lining up your little booty of your cursor white, I don't know, arrow thing in the map to barely have your little booty hanging out the back like you see me doing there. Um, and the chest is actually one block up the other way you see right there. I'm going to end up kind of pillaring with dirt just to be able to get into it better. But I peek in it there, tower up, and then I'm able to dig back down, get everything out of there. And then I was told to always break the chests, so I do end up doing it, that at the end of this and then leaving everything else in there. Um, that just allows new maps to be reset. Again, I can't, I haven't verified that, but, and then I think I grabbed cords of this place with these weird like combo of four mushrooms really odd right there um that'd be cool to turn that into something but here's where i'm rushing back to go like oh i it was a full chat or um a full ship i need to go check for the third chest but of course i sleep first and then we end up digging around here. You see me tearing it up because I'm like, okay, wait, I already went down here. There's not another chest. Um, and it takes me a minute to, I guess, remember. To be honest, I don't know why I couldn't remember that there would have been a third one. But I do end up finding it here at the back in just a second. But yeah, I think this would be so cool to turn this into a room. Just some more iron and gold and some lapis which I think I even leave the lapis. But here we are on our journey back all the way full circle. And we end up right back at our little place. And this is where I'm putting down the lily pads. I'm trying to spread those out to this little like patch of three by three dirt that I've put out here just for now. Don't worry, that'll be coming soon of me building my house here. Um, but just trying to extend that out in all directions so I don't have to swim into the center. Pretty sunset. Take a sleeps. And then I know I'm off to go focus on farming and being able to sell all this stuff to my farmer villagers to start getting them stonks and taking that more seriously. You see my veggie patch has really spread out. And I, I need to do a lot of work <laughs> on organization of my chest barrel situation. Um, but you see me terraforming here, just trying to cut things down a bit. And I have consistently done this throughout, like tearing down some of these hills. I don't want everything super flat, but I would like everything to just be a little organized better. So we got the pumpkins in. I end up taking all my valuables back to the center of the little pond and trying to organize all of that out put the important stuff in there trying to make sense of the mess but i need to in a future episode set up you know like a different place to have everything organized but this is where i start trying to grow trees to get bees to grow um, or I guess bees nests to grow uh, around the flowers. It takes me one time, no, two times on the right side and about 15 times on the left. But just gathering more stuff so I can go get more emeralds. And that's the name of the game. That will be the name of the game on the live stream on Monday. I want to max out all the villagers. Um just I guess to say that I could so this did not grow with a beehive and neither did this one so I gotta tear these down I just think it's so funny that most of them grow so short and then the two that grew here grew so big but then I do get bees on this side on the second try and I start to breathe them making um, beehives over there or I guess bees nests whatever the ones are that you make with their um, 
honey with the shears. So I start expanding them out. You can see a bunch of wool and stuff in there. And again, it's just honestly repeat and repeat and repeat of getting my veggies and stuff to get emeralds to be able to buy more books. Which I do set up my um, villagers for all of like trying to get mending and everything here. And you'll see in just a minute, you know, the long drawn out process of that. <laughs> But trying to get my villagers going, hopping in and out again, trying to organize things from here and there, selling things, getting more and more and more goodies out of everything, being able to upgrade these guys from like novices. I don't know. What's the next one after that? I can't remember. Um, then just shearing sheep because I do have two villagers with looms. Getting more honey, being able to make more beehives, just kind of on that grind of like establishing the village for sure is huge in this one. Um, and then I am after my enchantment table area, so i am been breeding the cows, killing them to get the leather, and then I got really nervous about hitting the villagers and also hitting uh, the iron golems because that would end this season like right there. So... Um, but I am able to trade with the, I don't know what they're called. They have the loom, the shepherds, is that what they're called? Um, either way, I come out here to get wool from all of these sheep and I do end up moving all of these sheep back into the pen that I set up back and extend. You'll see that in a minute too. Um, but I do end up pulling all of these guys in there to just expand and I keep breeding the bees and keep breeding them and still hoping but no luck on that side I do believe we take a sleeps and we cut down that tree and just keep going because I, I just want another beehive over here which I do end up getting one but then I don't know if the bee just moves over to the other side or what ends up happening in the long run but I end up silk touching this later and moving it you'll see that way later not in this episode in a different one but this is where I decide I'm gonna finally extend out everything for the sheep I need to move those other ones over I need to focus on this to start trying to max out all of um I think they're shepherds with the looms so I extend this out, and then I end up making the rounds the other way over here to extend it even more, so I can get more sheepies going. Sharing the sheeps. And then I'm working on a villager breeder here. So you see me making the beds, I smelted cobblestone for the stone here. And, um, it gets kind of out of control that you'll see later. I, I think it now filming episode four and you'll see in the live stream, I have so many villagers that are duplicating even without tables. It's weird. I'll discuss it later, but that's what I'm building here just to start getting more villagers. Um, and I come over here to get wood and I see this other ruined portal right by the house. Um, I don't end up taking anything from here, I think. And this ends up burning halfway down since there's lava there that I didn't put out. Um, but I grab the wood for something. You'll see. I, again, just edited this, but I can't even remember what I just was watching. I grab the wood, run back to my village over here. And I use the wood for something. Oh, I think it's because I'm making the lecterns after I chop my pumpkins and again go through this whole process of trying to just stay on top of the farms to be able to get more emeralds staying on top of the bees every time I pass by these things I try to keep doing them to keep production going to be able to get more emeralds but I do cut all of this down and I believe it's for lecterns so that way I can start getting and I sleep inside with all my villagers you can see I have a bunch of babies coming in um but I think this was to be able to make lecterns oh but I'm no just kidding not yet this is for finishing off the roof 
on the villager breeder, but yeah, I again, I'm not the best builder, but I'm hoping to improve on that skill. Um, to be completely honest with you, it's the first time that I've ever smelted cobblestone into stone in all the years that I've played Minecraft. Um, it's just never been a focus of mine. I've been an explorer and a fighter in survival, not a builder. So, new experience for me. Um, but I'm trying to take it seriously, and I would love to develop the whole village and completely change it as things go along, so that will be the plan. But you see, I have two babies there already. Um, and again, back to the grind of taking care of things. I do believe I grabbed my enchantment stuff here and grab lecterns and stuff because next episode I will be setting up my enchantment area. But I grab lecterns because above, I feel like all else, I absolutely want to get mending and so you see starts the process of just trying to get things. And none of the villagers standing around would take it. It would be like some person from all the way on the other side. There's like 10 people around and nobody would take it. <laughs> Again, power four, I don't take that. I think the first one I take is Silk Touch. That was Curse of Vanishing, like, yeah, right. Power one, nope. Uh, and I'm like, come on, people. Like, when do you take it? Depth Strider, and this was Depth Strider again, I think, on this next one. I didn't end up recording this whole thing because it just took forever. But we do get Silk Touch right there, and I buy it because... Yeah, I think it's a big deal. And then I start over with the process of this next one. And I can't remember. I think I take uh, Fortune 2 and I end up buying two Fortune 2 books. And then making it Fortune 3 on an anvil, which I make here in a minute. Um, which is what I make right here. I combine the two Fortune 2s to Fortune 3. And then, again, same thing of just grinding for emeralds, trying to get all my enchantment gear together, start organizing all of that. Um, I do chop those two bookshelves to be able to get more. But back, but again, back to um, getting on the grind of farming, because that is legitimately one of the easiest ways, in my opinion, to get emeralds. And my villagers, I was so pumped. You could see I got mending, a mending villager and a feather falling for a villager. Um, so I was so pumped about that, especially the mending. Um, and then again, just getting more and more emeralds, trying to stay on top of it, spending the emeralds to buy the books, repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Um, but I do get a cartography table put down. This is the shepherd, yes, with the loom. I end up trying to keep upgrading them with the wool. And then I decide to kind of build a little bit of like a, a, a out of brown wool, a hut, I guess, for now. For just something to cover the um, librarians and give them kind of a little setup of something that's covered. I just felt like it's the least I can do considering I'm really not doing much of anything else with them right now. And again, like I said at some point, totally want to redo all their houses, the village, the walls, but that's just going to have to come with time. But I end up picking up their lecterns to move them, and I think somehow it makes a fifth one come into play. I don't know. So I got Silk Touch, Mending Villagers that I showed you there, and then I start the process of just trying to terraform this area a little bit better. Because it's like these drop-offs right here. Um, but I want to work on making stairs, and then I do end up um, coming in with uh, wood slabs to make stairs to be able to get up and move around easier, but just cleaning up all these patches, cutting things back to be even, um, just trying to tidy up a little bit, very minimally, but it's something, and try to make these double layered stairs. But that is basically where I'm ending this episode. Um, Next episode will be coming out tomorrow, and then live stream will be coming out on Monday. But I'm so in love with this hardcore world. 
have so much exciting plans for it and I got my best friend forever with the first kitty in the village but I will see you guys in the next one bye thanks for watching <laughs>